Hello and welcome to Jewelry Rescue. I'm Kat and I'm a girl on a mission to rescue and recycle the world's unwanted jewellery. Today we have a really special unboxing. This lovely big box has come in from a subscriber. Thank you very much. It weighs 5.042 kilograms, so it's a really big one. I can't wait to see what's inside. Before we get into it, please don't forget if you like what you see to hit that like button. Subscribe if you don't already and hit that bell so you don't miss my future videos. Let's get straight into it. Okay, we're in. There's a lovely handwritten note in, top, in the top, which I won't show you because it has this person's contact details on it and they didn't want to be named, but they've said, Dear Cat, I hope you like my bits and pieces. They're left over from pieces when I dressed Tudor dolls and from some jewellery. Do you what you want with them, sell, recycle or whatever. Thank you so much for sending this in to me. I really appreciate it. And it's a really heavy box as well looks like there's all sorts in here let's have a look wow look at all this we're gonna have some fun so let's see what's in the first bag this is so exciting i don't know how i ended up doing this and getting to this place where people send me lovely boxes of jewelry i'm just so grateful thank you so much and i hope that you enjoy unboxing things with me just as much well, now let's be careful here because it looks like this piece is broken. Wow. Look at this beautiful shell. Isn't that stunning? So the necklace has sadly come apart, but that could be restrung. It's got coconut and wood beads here. Oh, it's stunning. I'm not going to lift it up because I think it will just come apart so I'll have a look at that at a later date and see if I can fix that up well I definitely can fix that up we've got whoops we've got some loose beads that says red bamboo coral but I don't think that's right and they're just nice plastic beads What's in here? Oh, these are pieces from an elasticated bracelet, so they be, be restrung through there. I can do that. Another two more of those. I think this, rather than being bracelets, these are the pieces to make bracelets, so that will be fun. Maybe I'll use those for workshops, and there are some smaller ones. I can see how these would have been really fun for making things to go with your Tudor doll's house. I definitely want to go and check out what you made with them. Some more there, aren't they lovely? I think those would make nice earrings actually. I could hang something from the bottom as well. Lovely. More of those there. Some tubes, those are great spacer beads. Got more of those. Oh, look at these pearls. So these are blister pearls where they're grown flat. If you don't know how cut pearls are cultured, it's quite an education. I actually now wouldn't buy anything with a new pearl in it because it's not really very nice what they do to the pool. <laughs> Poor clamshells. These are metal pieces. I can see how this would be really cool for doll's house making. That's fun. I think that's probably a pendant, is it? Or it could be. Well, it fits my tiny wrist as a bangle, but I don't think it would fit over every hand. I think that's probably to be a, as a pendant. There's some more of these. Those look like clasps and these are for sticking gemstones and things onto. Those are super useful. Ooh, look at these. They're like animal print. Beads. And then some faux pearls. These are beautiful blister pearls again, but in a grey colour. Wow, look at those. Oh, I'm going to have to do, I think, another video or at least a community post to show you what I make with all of these. I 
this necklace looks quite amazing. Multi-strand shell. Oh, and there's a matching earring there. Is that another one? Yes. With a pair of earrings. That's beautiful. There's a box tantalisingly marked sterling here, which I'm going to save till we've looked through these bits. There's a bangle that has got a bit darkened, unfortunately, with age. This looks like amber, but I think it's actually plastic to look like amber, but those will make nice earrings and things. Yeah, they are plastic, but they're quite convincing. Fun, fun. Bag of faux pearls. Those are glass ones. They're nice and heavy. Oh, these are fun. Those you could use to stick something to and have as a hanging pendant. But I think those will actually make really nice earrings. Or they could be dangles on a bracelet. Like those. Ah, a ring cone. These are always handy. I always pick up ring cones when I see them and I always need more. It would be lovely for displaying for photography. That's just what I need, actually. Oh, and there's another one. Oh, those are so helpful. Thank you. Little glass, probably check beads. Oh, some blue pearls. And there's a lovely tiger's eye cabochon in there. Goodness me, this is a lot of raw materials. Amazing. Round glass pearls, and that's the one baggy. There's a black glass faceted. Those are just black round glass again. I think those, yeah, those are faux pearls, but those are the ones that I use to make my little teeny tiny earrings, and I don't have any in that colour, so that'll be a fun new colourway. those for just decorative hanging pieces they'll be nice earrings as well oh this looks interesting what a pretty brooch that is it's been painted i think are we focused looks really pretty with my nail polish doesn't it that's quite old it's got an original um type closure that isn't a safety clasp so that's probably a hundred years old at least that's lovely let me put that somewhere safe and we've got some more findings bits in here sorry if the bags are rustling really loudly oh there's another ring cone there as well what's in this little tantalizing bag We've got some earrings. They're plated, but they're that nice sort of thick plating. They look like department store earrings, if you know what I mean. You know, somewhere like Debenhams, where you have nice quality costume. They're very pretty. Some springy things. I guess those are spacer beads, but actually they'd be really handy for holding the end of a wire whilst you're stringing something could be that's what they're for those are plastic but fun bobbly green ones okay oh they're stud earrings with a cup to hold a bead wow look at these ones they remind me of indian wedding jewelry those ones Oh, I bet you had lots of fun with these. These are nice too. Seed beads, love those faceted ones. Some faux pearls. Yes. Oh wow, look at this. Fabulous talk. Let me just zoom out so you can see. That's amazing. Can't see a maker's name on it. I wonder if that's missing something at the top there, or if it's just meant to hang. 
that's super cool. Like that one. Oh, there's another ring cone and another ring cone. Oh my goodness, I'm all set for ring cones now. That's fabulous. What's in there? Like a kid in a sweet shop here. Oh, I thought that was going to be a lump of amethyst, but it's plastic. <laughs> it does look like a gemstone, but I can feel that it's plastic. There's another ring cone there. If you look at these, these look like check glass. Nice faceted ones. Gosh, so many beads here. Amazing. What's this? Oh, a scarf clip. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Like that one. Bits from a shell brace here. I get these in. These were really big. I mean, they've, they've come through the years, but when I worked at Claire's Accessories in the early noughties, these were massive and everybody had them. And of course, the elastic doesn't last and they pop and then you end up with bags. I think this is, this is a bag that the person that sent this in has bought to make them. That one has got still got quite a nice elastic on it. What are these? Oh, look at that. It's like barbed wire. That's cool. Uh, now, this looks like a bag of jewellery. So I think we've looked, yeah, we've looked around all the beads now. There's those are more spacer beads. That's something that has popped, but really cute little beads that have all been hand wrapped. I'll definitely reuse those for something. Okay, so I think we're into some individual pieces of jewellery now. There's a vintage necklace one that's fused. And that's fun. That's a similar style to that talk. No binding on it. It's a really cool one. It's really heavy as well. There's a watch, Xeon Quartz. What does that say? It says Hong Kong. That's lovely and heavy. I like the look of it. I just love mixed metal. That's my thing, mixed metal. Wow, look at this. This has been woven on a beading loom. Gosh, I'm not going to take that apart. That's amazing. It's got, how can I show you? It's got strands all hanging down. That's incredible. That must have taken somebody a long time to make. Another lovely sea bead one that's all been woven at the top there. These things take a long time to make, I'm sure. At the bottom of this bag. And then we've got that tantalising box that's marked sterling. That's a plated chain. Might be able to polish that up and reuse it. I shall have a look. Oh, wow. I think we've got some treasure in here, guys. Beautiful ring with marker seat and I think that's black onyx. Oh, isn't that lovely? I'll pop that on one of those ring cones that I've handily got over here. I love rings. I mean, as you can probably tell, I love any kind of jewellery, but bracelets and rings are really my sweet spot. Wow, this is a really generous box of things. I'm quite overwhelmed. Look at that. What stone is that, guys? It's a sort of white and grey. It's Mark Sterling on the back, so that might be an older one. Isn't that beautiful? Gosh. Handy that I've got these ring cones here to pop them onto. Ooh, look at this one. That's a piece of... Green turquoise, I think, but do correct me if I'm wrong. Oh, that's stunning. Gosh. Look at this beauty. That is Mother of Pearl, I think. 
Oh, it's a pendant. Should we see if anybody's home? It's a locket, rather. Nobody's home. Nobody's ever home. Does anybody ever find lockets with pictures in? I guess it's a bit sad if you do. That's lovely. You can see that that's sterling silver and it's on a lovely silver chain. My goodness. Ah, look, here's one of those blister pearls and it's been made into a ring. Wow. That's pretty amazing, isn't it? That's a great idea. I might copy that as I've got a whole bag of those. Thank you. This is pretty. What does this say? I think it says CZ for cubic zirconia and a 925. Ooh, look at that. Very pretty. Wow, look at that one. That's got a 925 on the back, so probably cubic zirconias as well. Oh, this person has similar <laughs> ring finger size to me. That's gorgeous. What's this one? That might be glass that's been stuck onto one of these ring mounts as well. Pretty, pretty. Oh, glad I've got these ring cones now. Let's pop them onto you next to me. Ooh, look at that one. That is a sparkler. So it's got a big sparkly in the middle and then smaller ones around the outside. And that is marked S925 as well. Oh, these are nice. We've got liquid silver, that's what this beadwork is called. It's often Native American. And these caps as well. In fact, yes, it has got the sunrise on it. So I think these are Native American. I usually say sterling. Yes, it does with the sunrise. Gorgeous. And we have a match as well. There's its partner. And what are these? Check out these ones. So these are usually, I think, from Bali with this pattern on. And these just need to go onto new earring hooks. So I can do that in a jiffy. They make a fabulous noise. They're quite heavy too. Gorgeous. And we've got a St. Christopher, but that's a chunky size, St. Christopher. Silver, it's got a lovely maker's mark, GJ. And then I think that's a symbol. And a lovely chain. What's this? What is that? Is it a golf club? What does it say? Hurricane Ridge Sterling. So is it um so like an axe or is it a golf club? I can't quite work out what that is. I'm gonna look like such an idiot. This you know, I don't know what that is. I'm sure you'll comment and tell me that I'm being silly that I can't see what it is. A piece of paperclip chain. Now I love paperclip chains. I've got that Pandora one that's paperclip that you can hang charms off. So that just needs a fix. That could be made into a necklace by attaching things on the either end or a bracelet. What does it say on there? I suspect it probably says 925, so you can see that it's silver. Love that chain. Ah, there's another one of these. So there must have been earrings. So those I will just pop onto new hooks. And then in here, Looks like we've got some ear cuffs and some little huggy hoops. Those are really nice clippy style hoops. I love those ones myself. I wear them in my cartilage piercings. And then there are two of the ones that you squeeze on the ear cuffs. Oh my goodness, I'm absolutely overwhelmed. I think this is probably the nicest donation I've ever had. 
thank you so much for sending this in. I don't know what to say. I'm so grateful. And I'm going to be making so many things out of all of these beautiful beads, all the pearls and the seed beads and this amazing silver. Thank you so, so much. Thank you, everybody else, for watching. I really appreciate you being here. Please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you don't already. And I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.